tell you how to make a really, really good, a really, really good stop motion video. My other stop motion video, if you have watched it, um, it was, it was stupid stuff, so don't worry about that video. In this video, you would need a background. I didn't have a background like this, but I had a background like this. And you'll need a camcorder like this one. I got the the camcorder called Samsung. Um, Samsung. Blah blah blah. You don't need no damn soda. W three hundred. Yeah, I, I don't know what the, the whole thing is. Oh, HMX W three hundred camcorder and. This full HD, but it doesn't really seem. You trying to curve it over there? When I use Windows Movie Maker, it's it's 480p, but I mean Windows Live Movie Maker is 480p, but when I use um, YouTube, it's like you know little. It, it's, uh, I love y'all. HD. So I'm gonna go quick here. We're gonna need a flat. Videos 
in pictures and you should show right there when you click on that. And then you like talk to which thing you want. So um, here's how you make the fast and good motion move. First, you want to click on the start. It's in this area. You click on it. It's Windows Live Movie Maker. Um, mine's right here. This is what I use for my other video. Okay. My special effects aren't really used for other stuff because some programs cost money. I don't really have to use them yet. So I use like cotton balls and trying to use some Play Doh. But I don't have Play Doh. So um, let me close this real quick. Let me go back on Windows Live Movie Maker. So what we should say right here, drag videos and photos right here, or click browser for Click right here or click right there on add videos and photos. But I'll click on drag right now. And um, we're going to the picture. That's what mine's are normally at. I like putting my videos out. So once you get your videos out, um, you want to click on one and then, then go all the way down. And, um, I mean, you want to click on this one with a quick shift. This, just wait a sec. So yeah, you wanna click on this, click on the first one and press shift to make it go down. That shift, and then do the same for the other one. Like he practices lines and shit, and then came to the joint. All of it should pop out with blue squares and line it. All of it. And, um, for your pictures by pressing open right there, you know, all come. The best way to do this is for this, for this motion up here, so like walking and stuff, you should put it, go to edit up there. <laughs> Click on edit, it's right there. Mario. Mario. <coughs> And then you can click on the duration. Whatever I say his name, what's I say? Do it zero. Zero. Oh, snap. I swear to God. And the motion will go fast. So let me do this here. So this is how it should go from the start. And um, yeah, it should go really cool fast. See it one more time and here we go. One, two, Alright, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you learned some lessons from this, having a tripod, keeping it still, if you have a big tripod and then you can't pull down your tripod good enough. Can you capture the whole thing? Put boots or something, put tall things on okay. the flat, okay. flat screen. Okay. The flat Lego okay. piece, okay. and then um, the, the it will be bigger for you to use your tripod. I've seen tripods that are this huge, all the way down from here to here. Yeah, they're pretty big, only for like a dollar or something. And people probably would like to use them for like mega brick things, but I don't know.